Techno Teacher JA has a new telephone number. The new telephone number is 857-7137. Or you can email us at Jamaica Island Wide Link at yahoo.com. So Techno Teacher JA has a new telephone number. The old telephone numbers are no longer our numbers. The new telephone number is 857-7137. And this number uses WhatsApp. So this number uses WhatsApp and it's 857-7137. Or you can continue to email us at Jamaica Island Wide Link at yahoo.com. Remember that you can have classes with us. You can either have class in person or over the telephone. These classes are available, whether it's in person or over the telephone. These classes are available island wide, anywhere in the island, anywhere in Jamaica. Telephone classes last for about two about half an hour per class. Telephone classes last for about half an hour per class or longer if you choose. It starts from two thousand dollars per month. Two thousand dollars per month for one hour class per week. For for one class per week, one half hour class per week. Two thousand dollars per month. Anywhere in Jamaica, anywhere in the island. Pay for it to to our Jamaica national account. Pay for pay for the classes, pay for the telephone classes, or the un, or the in person classes to our Jamaica national bank account. To have class in person, you can have class for two hours each class, any day, any time you choose. Any time between eight o'clock a.m. and eight o'clock p.m. Any day of the week, from Sunday to Sunday. Class, pers, class, classes in person can either be with a class, a, a full set of class with other persons in it. That means you will come to us or we can go to you. To come to us, it would be $1,000 per class. $1,000 per class. Two hours for the class. Two hours. Any time between 8 o'clock a.m. and 8 o'clock p.m. Any day of the week. Sunday to Sunday. Or we can go to you. We can go to your location, your house, or wherever you would like us to go to. To go to you, it would cost $2,000 per class. That's $2,000 per class. Any day of the week, any time between 8 o'clock a.m. and 8 o'clock p.m. Classes can be any grade of primary or prep school, prep, reading for adults, reading classes for adults, teenagers, or children. So adults, teenagers, or children can have reading classes, prep classes, classes for any grade of primary or prep school, as well as persons doing the art aptitude test can have classes with us. We will help you with your art aptitude test. Pay for it using, pay for it using our Jamaica National Bank account. You are also invited to purchase my set of 50 GSAT pass papers or pet papers and pet papers. 50 GSAT pass papers and pet papers, about 50 papers for only $4,000. Only $4,000 for the set of about 50 pass papers, GSAT pass papers, as well as pet pass papers. Send, send send us a WhatsApp in in send us a photograph send send us a WhatsApp an email send us an email telling us which email address you'd like the email sent to you will receive these tests by email send us an email telling us to, from the email address that you'd like the test sent to and that way we will have the email address right and ready to send it to 
So send us an email from the email address that you'd like to send to, and we will, we will have that email address right and ready to send the test to. So we will send you an email of the 50, of the 50 GSAT and PEP pass papers. You will receive the emails the day after payment is made. Send us a photograph of your receipt to email or WhatsApp. The account number is Island Wide Jamaica National Bank account number 00111144042 Afre Tree Branch account holder's name Richard Sharp. Again, send send us send make payment for anything for classes or pass papers at any branch of Jamaica National Bank account number 00111144042 halfway tree branch account holders name Richard Sharp. Send us a photograph of the receipt in WhatsApp or by email to let us know a proof that that would be proof of your payment. So send us a photograph of your receipt after you have made payment in WhatsApp or by email as proof of your payment. You may make the payment online. Or you can go into the bank and use the drop box, use Jamaica National drop box to pay for it. That's a quicker way to pay for it. You don't have to use a teller. You can use a drop box and pay for it. And you can and you can make payment online. So Remember, te Techno Teacher JA has a new telephone number. The new telephone number, and this is a WhatsApp number. So Techno Teacher JA has a new telephone number. The new telephone number is 857-7137. Or you can continue to email us at Jamaica Island Wide Link at yahoo.com.
Hi again. Welcome to another in the Pet Mathematics Summary Series compiled by Techno Teacher JE. This is question number 93 out of 150 questions. This question asks The circumference of the swimming pool at a high school is 132 meters. What is the diameter? The choices are A. 56 meters, B. 38 meters, C. 42 meters, D. 63 meters. Again, the question and choices are the circumference of the swimming pool at a high school is 132 meters. What is the diameter? The choices are A. 56 meters, B. 38 meters, C. 42 meters, D. 63 meters. Do you know how to work out the diameter? I will give you about one minute to come up with your answer. After about one minute, my answer will come up and then you'll have another minute before I come in again and explain my answer. Did you come up with the correct answer? Again, I will read the question and the choices. Then I will read my answer and then explain my answer. The circumference of the swimming pool at a high school is 132 meters. What is the diameter? The choices are A, 56 meters, B, 38 meters, C, 42 meters, D, 63 meters. Now to read my answer. Circumference is equal to diameter times pi. Diameter is equal to circumference divided by pi. Pi is equal to 22 over 7. 132 over 1 divided by 22 over 7. 132 over 1 multiplied by 7 over 1. What, again, 132 over 1 
multiply by 7 over 22. 132 over 1 multiply by 7 over 32. 2 into 22, 11 times. 2 into 132, 56 times. Equal 462 over 11. 462 divided by 11 is equal to 42. Answer C, 42 meters. Now to explain my answer. The formula is circumference is equal to diameter times pi. So the formula is circumference is equal to diameter times pi. What? That symbol stands for pi, 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 pi. So circumference is equal to diameter times pi. This question asks for the diameter though, not the circumference. If we get the circumference, you want to find the diameter. So therefore, so therefore, to find the diameter, you would you would put circumference first. Circumference it would be to find the diameter, it would be circumference divided by pi. You change the, the, the biggest number, the biggest number here is circumference, and you change the multiplication sign to a division sign. So diameter is equal to circumference divided by pi. So the biggest number here is the circumference, and you change the multiplication sign to a division sign. So diameter is equal to circumference divided by pi. Diameter is equal to Circumference divided by pi. Pi can either be 22 over 7 or as a decimal is 3.14. So as a fraction, pi is 22 over 7. And then as a, as a decimal, it would be 3.14. We are going to use pi as 22 over 7 right now. We're going to use it as a fraction. So pi right now, we are using pi as 22 over 7. So now circumference divided by pi, the circumference is 132 and the pi is 22 over 7. So circumference divided by pi is 132 over 1 divided by 22 over 7. Again, 132 over 1 divided by 22 over 7. 132 over 1, change the division. When, when you're... Dividing fractions, you change the division sign to a multiplication sign and change and turn the second fraction upside down. That is find the reciprocal. So you're going to find the reciprocal of the second fraction and change change the, the division sign to a multiplication sign when you are dividing by this but when you are dividing fractions. So, it now becomes 132 over 1 multiplied by 7 over 22. It now becomes 132 over 1 multiplied by 7 over 22. Okay, let's, let's cancel out. Let's cancel out now. You can cancel out by finding a common factor of of a denominator and a numerator. A common factor of a denominator and a numerator. 2 is a common factor of 22 and 132. As 2 can go into 22 without leaving a remainder and can also go into 132 without leaving a remainder. So let's divide 22 by 2 and 132 by 2. 2 into 22 goes 11 times and 2 into 132, 2 into 1 you can't 2 into 13 or 6 times remain 1. You carry the 1 go, bes go beside the 2 and that becomes 12. And then 2 into 12 goes 6 times. So 2 into 132 is 66 times. 2 into 132 is 66 times. 2 into 132 is 66 times. Again, 2 into 22 goes 11 times. 
21 and 32 will see the six times. No, you cannot divide it any further. You can there's no more denominator and numerator with a common factor, so you multiply it across. There's no more denominator and numerator with a common factor, so you multiply it across. 66 times 7. 66 times 7 is 462. 66 times 7 is 462. 1 times 11 is 11. 1 times 11 is 11. So that now becomes 462 over 11. 462 over 11. This is an improper fraction. This is an improper fraction. Let's turn it to either an old number or a mixed number. Let's turn it to either an old number or a mixed number. So divide 462 by 11. Divide the numerator by the denominator. Divide the numerator by the denominator. Divide 462 by 11. Divide 462 by 11. 11 into 4, you can't. 11 into 46 goes 4 times. Remain 4. Remain 2, sorry. 11 into 46. 11 to 4, you can't. 11 into 46. So you carry the 4 in front of the... In, okay, again. 11 into 4, you can't. So you put the 4 in front of the 6 and that becomes 46. 11 into 46 goes 4 times remain 2. 11 into 46 goes 4 times remain 2. And then you carry the 2 that is remaining in front of 2 beside it. That now becomes 22. 22. And 11 into 22 goes 2 times. 11, 20, 11 into 22 goes 2 times. And there's no remainder. No remainder. So the answer is a whole number. The answer is a whole number. 42. 42. The answer is 42. The answer is 42. Answer C. 42 meters. Answer C. 42 meters. I will give you about another minute to review my answer and to make sure that you understand both the question and the answer.
something for your child to do this summer. G sat and Pip passed papers and practice tests with answers. Only four thousand dollars for fifty tests with answers. Email Jamaica Island wide link at yahoo.com for free samples and payment information. These are GSAT and PEP past papers and practice tests with worked out and explained answers for the mathematics and answers for the other subjects. You should give your child who is entering grade 4, 5, or 6 these tests to do in the summer before they start school in September. So if the child is going in grade 4, if the child is going in grade 5, or if the child is going in grade 6, they can do these tests. So remember, if the child is going in grade 4, they can do these tests. GSAT and PEP starts from grade 4. So you should watch my videos from as early as grade 3. And then when the child is going, before the child goes to school in September, in the summer before they start school, in the summer before they start grade 4, they can do these practice tests. GSAT actually starts from grade 4. And PEP actually starts from grade 4. And it continues in grade 5. Grade 6 is just a revision grade. You only revise in grade 6. The months September, October, November, and the half of December that your child goes to school in grade 6 is just revision of what they did in grade 4 and grade 5. Yes. The month September, October, November, and the half of December that they go to school in grade 6 is, is just the vision that they do during those times. They revise what they did in grades 4 and grade 5. Come January and February, it's just practice tests practice tests and mock exams as of January. As of January, it's just practice tests and mock exams that your child does in school. So you should have done all the, all the, so she, you should have done all the reading, watch all the videos, did all the studying before January in grade six. After that, it's just practice tests and mock exams. After that, it's just stress academy. To get the, try to let the child get to catch up after January stress it can be done but it's stressful so start these egg these tests you can do them in the summer before your child starts grade 4 or in the summer before your child starts grade 5 or in the summer before your child starts grade 6 so, something useful to do in the summer GSAT and PEP pass papers and practice tests with answer So write down that email address. Write down the email address Jamaica Island Wide Link at Yahoo.com. Jamaica Island Wide Link at Yahoo.com. And he mailed me to get free samples of the test of the GSAT and PEP past papers and practice tests with answers. You will get free samples and then you can decide to purchase the set of 50 tests with answers. So, you can email me from the email address that you would like the test sent to so that I can just, I will have the email address ready and correct to send the test to. So, email me from the email address that you would like the test sent to. So go ahead, write down that email address and ask for free samples now.
And don't forget that these GSAT tests are also suitable for primary exit profile. PEP. Hello. Subscribe to my channel to get updates of new videos that are available on YouTube as soon as they become available. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. It's free. Like and subscribe and also you're invited to share my videos. So you, when you when you subscribe, when I upload a video for instance, if I if the video you are watching is Social Studies Part 2, when I upload Social Studies Part 3, you will get a notification on your computer right away that I have uploaded Social Studies Part 3 and you can go ahead and see the video. So go ahead, click that subscribe button right now. Thank you for watching. You should watch these GSAT videos over and over again until you know them from memory. Repetition is important. You can always message me if you have any questions or need further help using my email address, my Facebook page or the telephone numbers that are shown on the screen. So bye-bye for now, bye-bye.